Thank you very, very much, everybody. A good morning, and here we are, once again, on the fantastic Midnight Special. Now, <laughs> hold it, hold it. Well, it now, we've got a great lineup this morning. Oh, this is true. Right? This is very true. Fantastic lineup. Yes. Nice. And I would like to tell... Oh, hang on. And I would like to tell, personally, our audience tonight, what a lovely guest we have on our little show this evening. Correct? Correct. Just correct and right. Wrong. Right and correct. Wrong, wrong. Well, what do you mean, wrong? No, no look, you know, I mean, things can go so far, and things can go so far. Harry, you have Belt, belt it. Perish the thought. Belt it. The thing is that you two keep doing solos all the time. Well, I'm fed up with this lot because it's been going on for the past two shows. Now, for You're a start, good. I would like to point out that also I am a host of this show and I would like to introduce to this lovely audience <laughs> the guests on the show. Well, so if you don't mind, yeah, I'd like right. you two to step back to the rear. Well, it's step back to the rear. Back to the rear. Well, why? Because I said so. All right. Go. Back to the rear. Yes, yeah. back to the rear. Ladies and gentlemen, joining my... You little creep. <laughs> joining... <coughs> joining... <coughs> joining my wonderful brothers and me, um, and myself, I should say, this morning is Mr. Lee Michaels. 
A new group, Apple and Appleberry. Monty Python's Flying Circus. You think you're really smart, don't you? Felt it. <laughs> I not only do a better job than you, mate, but I'm getting the audience here all together. They're right in the palm of me and look at them. Anyway, I... And our first guest this morning, <laughs> let's face it, he's the king of rock and roll and one of the greatest ever, Mr. Chuck Berry. Ladies and gentlemen, Lee Michaels is always amongst the tops when it comes to records. And his concerts have excited thousands of young ears. And their noses, eyes, legs, eyebrows, feet, armpits. Yes, oh. all, all the young heads. As I was saying, Lee Michaels is a super performer. A super, super performer. I don't usually say super because super makes me sound strange, so I don't say super. As I was saying, he's a fantastic performer. And our next musician on the Midnight Special. <laughs> Uh, that's right, folks. Lee, Lee, everybody, Lee Michaels. Lee Michaels.
The boys are together. Morris, I want you to do something for me. What? I want you to say King Crimson three times. King Crimson three times? No, no, no. That isn't what I meant. No, you mean three times? Oh, I know. I know. Need I tell you? <laughs> King Crimson, King Crimson, King Crimson. Anyway. Sing for sing. I can do it. While the two of them King are discussing their names, one thing I is for sure. Oh, yes, I can. King Crimson, King Crimson. It's easy to appreciate their music. King Crimson, King Crimson. They are one of the finest groups to come out of England, King Crimson, King Crimson. and we're delighted tonight to have them on their first American TV show, our little show this morning. So we'd like to give a big, hearty welcome King to King Crimson.
watching it was quarter to one. I said, come on, baby, let's have a little fun. And we went. It was quarter to two. You know she says she don't, but I know she do. It was quarter to five. We was rolling like a Mustang on a four-day drive, man. We were... We boogied in the hall, we boogied on the floor and all
booming with the rhythm that the drivers made. When people passing by, they would stop and say, Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, 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 go, go. Go, Johnny, be good. You know his mother told him someday you will be. Now tonight, uh, our brother, that's true, our brother Morris has uh, wanted to do one of his own songs and completely ruin his reputation as we know it today. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. And he's, um, he's pretty keen on coming on tonight and proving to you just what an incredible musician he really isn't. <laughs> Thank you. It's appreciated. That's Morris. He's coming now. He, he's just about on. What, what yeah, Morris the, is about to do, he wants to make a fool out of himself, and it comes from his own category. <laughs> Morris is a great humorist and loves to play jokes <laughs> with the people. You know that I'm a loser And I'm proud of that fact As you can plainly see I never did what people said I should have I'm just a low-down critter Who I never did any good I'm just a low-down critter Who I never did any good Yeah Spending my life I'm working up a sweat To be a bad boy Girls in the trouble every day. I'm going from town to town. Now I tell you, I've been around. I'm just a low down critter who I never did any good. I'm just a low down critter who I never did any good. With me, cause you know that I'm a loser. I'm proud of that fact that you can't plainly see. I'm going from town to town, now I tell you I've been around. I'm just a low down critter who I never did any good. I'm just a low down critter who I never did any good. Shine its ever loving light on you. Hello, children. Hello. Are you sitting comfortably for today's story? 
good. <laughs> then we can begin. One day, Ricky the Magic Pixie went to visit Daisy Bumble in her tumble-down cottage. He found her in the bedroom. <laughs> Roughly, he grabbed her heaving shoulders, pulling her down onto the bed and hurriedly ripping off her thin... <laughs> Old Nick, the sea captain, was a rough, tough, jolly sort of person. He loved the life of the sea, and he loved to hang out down by the pier where the men dressed as ladies. <laughs> Rumple Tweezer ran the dinky tinky shop in the foot of the magic oak tree, by the wobbly dum dum tree, in the shade of the magic glade, down in Dingley Dell. Here he sold porny pictures and Swedish sex magazines that show <laughs> and dirty books with a melon. <laughs> to do a song for you. I just wrote between here and the microphone. It's uh, called Short Blues and I hope it gives you as much pleasure to hear it as it gives me pleasure to play it for you. <laughs> I'm a bachelor myself. Sure, uh, is your wife a goer, eh? Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Nudge, nudge, know what I mean? Say no more. I beg your pardon? Your, uh, your wife, does she go, eh? Does she go, eh? She sometimes goes, yes. I bet she does, I bet she does. Say no more, say no more, know what I mean? Nudge, nudge. Uh, I'm afraid I don't quite follow you. Follow me? That's good, that's good. A nod's as good as a wink to a blind bat. Are you selling something? Selling? Very good, very good. Eh? Hey, hey. Oh, you're wicked, eh? Wicked, eh? Say no more. <laughs> well, I didn't say. Sure, off a sport, eh? Oh, she likes sport, yes. I bet she does. I bet she does. She's been around a bit, eh? Been around. She has travelled, yes. She's from Burbank. Yeah. <laughs> say no more. Burbank, squire, famous. Sure, is your wife interested in uh, photography, eh? Photographs, eh? He asked him knowingly. <laughs> Photographs? Snap, snap, grin, grin, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. <laughs> holiday snaps. Could be, could be taken on holiday, old squire. Suing costumes, eh? Suing costumes. Candid, eh? Candid photography, eh? No, I'm afraid we don't have a camera. Oh, still. Oh, eh? Oh, eh? Oh, eh? Oh. No, are you insinuating something? Oh, no, no. Yes. <laughs> well? Well, I mean, you're a man of the world, Chief. You've been around a bit, eh? What do you mean? Well, I mean, like, you've, uh, you've done it. You've, uh, slept with a lady. Yes. What's it like? <laughs> on to your hats because it's time for Nini Nana and the two Nunas. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful commercial. Thank you. Beautiful. But folks, without any further ado, let's see them. Their debut on Midnight Special, Apple and Appleberry.
on a midnight special gonna be war. Right here on the midnight special stage, plus the New York Dolls and more. And now, once again, your host for this morning, the Bee Gees. Just as fast as I 
dance with Sweet little 16 Sweet little 16 She's got them grown up blues Mini skirts and hot pants Sometimes she don't wear no shoes Oh, but tomorrow morning She'll have to change her trend And be sweet 16 Go back to class again But that be rocking on bandstand Philadelphia, PA Deep in the heart of Texas And round the Frisco Bay It's not that good. It wasn't that <laughs> bad. It wasn't that bad. Thank you. But it's a pretty good way to introduce the great sounds of King Crimson. When you doubled up the steak With your fingers all a shake You could never tell a winner from a snake Strutting out at every race Throw a glass around the place Show the color of the crimson suspenders We could take the money home Sit around the family throne My old dog could chew his bone For two weeks we could appease me Oh my
You're a virus in the street Got to hoot and stamp the feet In the heat from your physique As you twinkle by and mock the sun It's always a pleasure to introduce a lady on the show, and it's a greater pleasure to introduce one who sings as well as our next guest. I'm sure you're going to enjoy with us this morning. Don't be nervous, love. Lady love, Barbara Mason.
Thank you. We'd like to thank all our marvellous guests for joining us on our little show this morning. Thank you, marvellous guests. And then Chuck Berry. Lee not Michaels. Chuck Berry. Oh, yeah, not, of course not. Lee Michaels, Barbara Mason. King Crimson. He said it. He, he said it. That's <laughs> supposed to be a Do you funny understand? joke. He said it. Right, he said it. <laughs> and of course, not forgetting Apple and Appleberry and Monty Python's Flying Circus <laughs> for joining us this morning. And, <laughs> and as always, and as always, <laughs> sure. and as always, we've had a fantastic time. This is true. And we'd, <laughs> of course, it's true. And we'd also like to thank the studio audience and all of you at home for watching. And of course, we'd like to wish you a very good morning. Leaving, that's all you ever seem to.